welcome back i hope you guys are doing well so today i'm doing a highly highly requested makeup tutorial now i wore the exact same look in my previous video and a lot of you were requesting that i do a makeup tutorial on this look and this was literally every comment in that video it's like do a tutorial do a tutorial so here i am doing a tutorial so my top is from forever 21 my chain is from forever 21 um, i also showed you how i like to do my top knot bun which is really simple to be honest and also a makeup tutorial on this look and this eyeshadow that I am currently obsessed with so if you guys would want to know how I do it then keep on watching so I already did my base off camera because I didn't want this video to be too long and I did the same thing I used my infallible foundation and I used my fit me concealer and powder to set it uh, for my eyes I'm starting off with the shade from Tartlet palette this is called uh, sweetheart and I'm using this as a transition color on my crease I'm just applying this slightly above my crease and then just blending it in. Now for my eyelids and the main attraction for today's look um, is going to be this eyeshadow. Uh, this is the pack semi matte eyeshadow in the shade number 22. So I had gone to their stores and I randomly spotted this and I fell in love with the color. I tried finding this online but I couldn't find it. Um, if I can, I'm going to link it down below. But it's available at the pack store so if you're in Mumbai, you can go over there and get it. Uh, so what I did was like take a little bit of this onto my ring finger. So I'm just going to take it in my finger like so and then apply it all over my eyelids. Can you see how pigmented that is? That's just like one rub on the pan. So once I've applied it, I'm just going to take a blending brush and then just blend uh, both the transition shade and this color together. Now I'm going to draw a winged liner on my eyelids. I'm using the Color Essence Gel Liner. This is a matte black gel liner and I'm using an angled brush. Uh, this is the Sigma Winged Liner Brush. Once I'm done with the wing liner on both the sides, um, I'm just going to take my Mary Luminizer and apply that onto the inner corners. And I'm also going to take the same shade onto my brow bone. So I did a little bit of contouring in this look as well. So I uh, took this shade called Shadow Play from my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and applied that onto the hollows of my cheekbones. I also tried my hands on nose contouring and a lot of you noticed it. I used the same shade, this one, and I used the 068 brush from PAC. So I just like took the brush here on my nose like so, starting from the corners of my eyebrow and then just going in straight like so and just doing the same thing on the other side. And then I just went in and uh, like buffed the edges just a bit. tone it down a bit that's it then I took my Mary luminizer once again and took that onto my fan brush and apply that onto the bridge of my nose to enhance that contouring and then just applied it onto the tops of my cheekbones mm -hmm. 
I almost forgot mascara so um, what I did was I curled my lashes I got this uh, Shiseido one from Feel Unique if you've seen my haul so once I've curled my lashes I used the Blink uh, heated lash curler so what you have to do is gen uh, just turn on this button right here and once you turn that on there is an indicator which is red that turns yellow once it turns yellow you know that um, it is completely hot see it has turned yellow so then what I like to do is then uh, just go as close to my lashes um, like starting from the center and then I just press it there for around five seconds and then I just push the lashes upwards and we're done so after that I used my new Maybelline lash sensational mascara applying the same on my lower lash line as well I didn't use anything else other than mascara on my lower lash line I wish I had a nude eyeliner if you guys know a good nude eyeliner please recommend we are done with the eyes um, the only thing left is lipstick I use the Lolita lipstick from Kat Von D I'm obsessed with this I'm going to show you how I put my hair up onto that bun so what I like to do is just pull all of my hair upwards like so as high as possible and then just start twisting it and then shape the bun as I'm twisting it like so so, and then I just use like uh, bobby pins to make it stay in place. It doesn't have to be perfect, the messier the better actually. And uh, yeah, just pull it just a little bit. Yep, done. It looks different every single time I do it. And then I just pull out two hair from the side just to frame my face a little bit and yeah that's the finished look this is the finished look I hope you guys like this ah, I don't know what was that for uh, but yeah so this is how the look is um, it's very simple very summery very fresh and dewy and like I love the bright pop of color I absolutely love uh, this eyeshadow so I hope it turned out as nice as the previous one um, my hair obviously didn't turn out nicely as the previous one actually it's not nice at all anyways just ignore it so yeah that's all for this video if you guys liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more videos guys can we make my channel go up to 40,000 this month I know the month is already getting over but I want to hit 40,000 actually no I want to hit 50,000 and 40,000 feels closer to 50,000 it's the weird thing in my head anyways I'm trying to reach 50,000 and actually somebody had left a comment saying that hey you're going to reach 50,000 real soon and I was like ah, I need to reach 50,000 so yeah if you guys would help me reach 50,000 then please hit on that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and to always be notified whenever I upload a new video and please follow me on my snapchat Twitter Facebook Instagram where all of the fun stuff happens when I'm not here on my channel and I will see you in my next video bye